it's completely devastated my family, not only my own family, but my extended family as well. Kelly Thrun lost her son in a tragic pedestrian versus vehicle accident in 2011. Um, everything, I, it sounds weird to hear it, but graduation, you know, he should be a freshman right now. Since then, Thrun has teamed up with Interior Law Enforcement, the Department of Transportation, Fairbanks Memorial Hospital, and other organizations to raise awareness for the Report Every Dangerous Driver system. The police have known for it for years, but it's now thanks to these wonderful people, is getting it uh, on the other side. It's getting the community involved in that it's okay to report every dangerous driver immediately. The statistics are simply staggering. If a person is walking down the street and they're hit by a motor vehicle is traveling 20 miles an hour, their chance of injury is about 10, 15 percent. Whereas if a person is hit at, uh, by a motor vehicle traveling 30 miles an hour, their chance of injury and or death jumps up to 45 percent. And then if someone's traveling around 40 miles an hour and hits a pedestrian, um, their chance of injury and or death is right around 85%. Those numbers also show that there are roughly 27 vehicle versus pedestrian accidents a year in the interior. Now that's more than two a month. Thrun says she wants to raise awareness in honor of her son. As I look back on what happened to my son and I think about what could have been done differently, call and report impaired drivers. If you know somebody is out there who's driving impaired day after day, it's not, it's, there's nothing, it, you can call 911. The group plans to post ready signs with the Department of Transportation next year and continue to raise awareness and educate the public with events, eventually starting an active Safe Routes program. Now, if you want to get involved, you can email the Jameson Connection at gmail.com. I'm Stephanie Woodard reporting.